Hello friends, welcome to the license classes. So today in this class we are going to discuss about polynucleotides. So what are polynucleotides? Uh, we have discussed in our last video about the nucleosides and nucleotides. Nucleotides, we know that a nucleotide consists of three components. First is pentose sugar and iron of phosphoric acid. and nitrogenous bases genus base so these these three components form the nucleotide and if these two if only this sugar and nitrogenous base is present then the structure is known as nucleoside so today uh, we have to discuss about the polynucleotide the term itself means poly means many Poly means many and nucleotide means one, one nucleotide. So when the large number of nucleotides combine with each other, the structure form is known as a polynucleotide. And the two, the two polynucleotide chains attach with each other in an anti-parallel manner. Two polynucleotide chains attach with each other in an anti-parallel manner to form the structure of DNA. So today we will discuss about the single chain of polynucleotide, the structure of that particular chain. So I will show you. So polynucleotide consists of a sugar molecule. Let us draw the structure. This, this. And uh, here is OH, here is H, and here is CH2OH. So, I told you in my last video in the structure of a nucleotide, this at the first position, at the first carbon, this bond, the nitrogenous base, uh, whether it is adenine, thymine, cytosine, or guanine, the one of these nitrogenous base combine at the first position so i'll show you here this is the position of nitrogenous base and the uh, this is the first position and this is the second position and at the second position as i already told you that this hydrogen if the, if at the second carbon at this position if hydrogen is present then the structure is known as then the structure is known as a deoxy deoxyribose sugar which is present in dna if in place of h if oh is present then the structure is known as ribose sugar and if this ribose sugar is present in rn so this is the structure of sugar and at the first position the nitrogen's base attached and this is the second this is the third position this is the fourth and this is the fifth now at the fifth position with this carbon the phos the an ion of phosphoric acid is present so how it will attach this oh will remove from here and the bond formed with this c o P, O negative and O negative. So this is the structure of phosphoric acid that attach at uh, fifth position at the fifth position of the carbon. So this is the structure of single nucleotide. Now I'll show you how this single nucleotide attach with the other nucleotide. So at the at the third position at this OH group, this OH group will attach with the other phosphoric acid so how it will attach this uh, H will remove from here this H will remove from here and uh, this bond this will connect with P P and uh, this forms C which I will uh, explain you 
this is the structure in which H or OH H H so here is the this is the nitrogenous base and uh, this uh, this bond will further connects this bond will further connect with the help of O to the lower phosphate group lower phosphate group so what happened at this position at this so at the third position the H uh, from this OS the H removes and from this position the OH removes so the H plus OH is water H2O so this water molecule releases from this particular uh, during the formation of this particular bond the H uh, the H2O water releases out and the this bond formation this bond is known as phosphoester bond but in this case there are the two bonds are one first bond is this and second bond is this so two phosphoesters bond are two two phosphoester bonds are formed which is also known as phosphodiester bond this di means two bonds so this is the case in and uh, this is the case in which the sequence the sequence of the nucleotide is arranged in this form this this is the phosphoric acid then sugar then phosphoric acid then uh, also sugar so so this phosphoric acid sugar phosphoric acid sugar and this sugar combines with the nitrogenous base and this will uh, this uh, flow will moves down from 5 prime to 3 prime so now what is this 5 prime and what is this 3 prime so 5 prime means the fifth carbon this is the fifth carbon and at the fifth carbon the reaction chain starts from the fifth carbon from the fifth carbon this uh, the formation of nucleotide uh, polynucleotide starts and it ends at the 3 dash position so, uh, so this is the this is the 3 dash posi position uh, so this the, the formation of polynucleotides takes place in 5 dash to 3 dash direction always and uh, this is the structure of polynucleotide I hope it is clear to all of you so now we will discuss about some uh, one uh, molecule which uh, that is ATP. So now I'll show you the structure of ATP. Uh, let me.